plants around us. Hello friends. Hey Jia. Hey Dodo. Dodo, do you like plants? I have so many plants in my home. Really Jia? Can I see them? Yeah, why not Dodo? Yippee! Dodo, do you know about parts of plant? No Jia, let's learn about it. Parts of a plant. We now know that plants are living organisms like us. Just as our body parts perform different functions, different parts of a plant perform different functions. A plant's body is divided into two main parts. The part of plant which grows below the ground is called the roots. The parts of a plant that grows above the ground form the shoot. Roots. There are two main types of roots in plants. Some plants have tap roots and some plants have fibrous roots. Tap roots. Plants such as beans, carrots, turnips and mustards have one thick root which is called tap root. Fibrous roots. Plants such as grass, wheat, onion and garlic have many thin hair-like roots called fibrous roots. Fibrous roots have a bushy appearance. Jia, what are the functions of roots and shoots? Functions of roots. Root absorb water minerals and other nutrients from the soil which are required by the plants to grow. Root help to fix the plant firmly into the soil. In some plants, extra food prepared by them is stored inside their roots. Carrots, turnips and radishes are some plants where extra food is stored in the roots. We eat the thick and fleshy roots of these plants. Shoots. All the parts of a plant that are above the ground form the shoot. The shoot includes stem, buds, fruits, leaves, flowers and seeds. Stem. The stem helps a plant to grow straight and upright. It also bears leaves flowers and fruits. The stem acts as a pipeline and carries water, minerals and nutrients from the roots to the leaves. It also carries the food made by the leaves to all the parts of the plant. Stems of some plants are thick and juicy because they store food prepared by the leaves. Potato, ginger, onion and sugarcane plants store excess food in their stems. We can eat these fleshy and juicy stems. Leaf Leaves grow on stems. Leaves of different plants have different shapes and sizes. We can identify a plant by looking at its leaf. A leaf has a flat surface called the leaf blade or lamina. There are many thin lines present on the surface of the leaf which are called veins. These veins make a pattern on the lamina of the leaf. The thin tube-like structure passing through the middle of the leaf and joining the two ends of the leaf is called the midrib. Leaves also have very tiny pores on their underside. These pores help the leaves to take in air and give out air.
leaves of some plants have food stored in them like we eat these leaves as vegetables for example cabbage fenugreek lettuce and spinach jia what is the role of chlorophyll green leaves make food for the plant in the presence of air water and sunlight they contain a green colored substance called chlorophyll which helps in absorbing sunlight oh there are more to do let's go ahead flowers buds grow into flowers flowers are generally bright in color and some flowers may have a sweet smell too this helps them to attract birds and insects flowers of some plants such as cornflower and broccoli store extra food in them most flowers become fruits after some time fruits and seeds a fruit may have one or many seeds inside such as mango and lychee have one seed watermelon apple and pears have many seeds 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 can be of different shapes sizes and colors some of the seeds that we eat are pulses wheat gram corn peas and beans spices spices such as mustard cumin and methi are also seeds jia can you tell me how seeds grow dodo the process by which seeds grow into a new plant is called germination a seed contains a baby plant inside it when seeds get the right amount of air warmth and water they start growing into a new plant a baby plant need air water sunlight and good soil to grow into a big and healthy plant the process by which a seed grows into a new plant is called germination different stages of a seed a seedling a baby plant so friends i hope you all understood about plant life friends let's revise what we have learned so far plants which grow below the ground is called roots plants which grow above the ground is called shoot two types of roots in plants tap root and fibrous root stem act as a pipeline and carries water minerals and nutrients from the roots to the leaves leaves contain a green colored substance called chlorophyll buds grow into flower flowers become fruits after some times a fruit may have one or many seeds inside it the seed contains a baby plant inside it process by which a seed grows into a new plant is called germination very good to do so do practice and learn more Bye friends see you soon